Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this programming series, we are going to see how to check alphabet. So first of all, what is alphabet? So alphabet means like if you are giving A. So here a small A, a small B till Z. It is alphabet and it can be caps A, caps B till caps Z. Anything that will comes under a small a to a small z or caps a to caps z that means alphabet apart from that it is not an alphabet so how we can start our program so first of all i need to declare a character c equal to i'm going to declare as a, a star so a star is not an alphabet so in this program, I'm going to use two approach. So if you are a beginner, then try to understand the first approach. If you are got familiar with that approach, then you can go for second approach. First of all, we need to use an if and else condition. So in if what we have to check. So we just saw alphabet is starting from a small a to a small z. So we can give like C. C means like it will hold our value. Currently, it is holding only star. It can be greater than or equal to a right and it can go till z so we can give like c it can be smaller or equal to z right now just open and close right so currently we are going to check only a small a to a small z so we need to print so what we have to print c right is an alphabet right now just come and run so first of all if we run you will not see anything why we are unable to see anything just come and try to run in debug mode so see we are going to check from a to z but c is holding a star so it is not satisfying this condition so that's why it is going out of if condition and after that we have not given any printing log so that's why it is not printing any message so how we can do just come and use else right so what will be happen if it will not satisfy this condition then definitely it will go to the here so now just come copy paste and just change the message like is not an alphabet now you can run so once you will run you can see a star is not an alphabet right so just come and check like G. Now you can run. You can see here. It is printing this message because G is an alphabet. But imagine if I'm going to use caps A. So now what will be happen? It will print the message like A is not an alphabet. Why? Because we have not checked that condition till now. So now we need to check caps A to caps Z. So just now we need to use or condition so it can be either a small a or it can be caps a right so same thing we are going to check here also c can be greater than or equal to caps a and it can go till less than equal to caps z right so you can see here it can be go from A to Z or it can go from caps A to caps Z, right? So same thing we have given here condition. Either it can be here or it can be here, right? So we have used here or condition. Now just come and run. You can see here A is an alphabet, right? Because it is satisfying this condition. Just come run in debug mode, right? So you can see here, right? A correctly, right? So it will satisfy this condition, then it will go to the here, right? After that, it is printing this message in our console. You can see, right? So now, if you are going to use add the rate, right? So what will be happen? It will the print message like add the rate is not an alphabet. So in this program, you understand how you can check either the character is alphabet or not. So this was the first approach. So the next approach is very simple. We just need to check like if character dot is alphabetic, right? Here we need to pass C and we need to print same message like what we have printed earlier, right? 
so just come and copy paste right I'm going to just comment this line right now you can just run at the rate is not an alphabet right now you can come change like J a small J now run J is an alphabet now come change like caps J right so either you can use this way or you can use this way but if you are a beginner then try to use this way then you can understand how it is actually working if this video is helping you to understand how to check alphabet then please like and share your feedback and please subscribe talented developer